Well, good damn evening, everyone. I am Jonathan Friend with the Black Mass Faders. The Black Mass Faders, guys, gals. I'm coming at you with a video to see if this is something that maybe you guys would like to uh, go ahead and maybe do an opportunity for. Guys, this particular knife I got in a trade and it is double-edged this thing is a beauty guys this is a Ken Richardson knife it is highly collectible it is all handmade Ken Richardson has passed away so you can no longer get these I mean his family it's a family ran business his sons uh, have taken over from what I understand um, but this says congratulations on your purchase of a Ken Richardson knife. It says everything in this knife is a real thing. The horn is either shed white tail mule or a black tail deer or elk, all native antler. These are shed annually and the animal in most cases is grown another set of horns right now. It says... <clears throat> The guards are hard brass. The blade is analyzed as 1085 spring steel. Thus is 85% carbon tempered to blue spring steel. The higher carbon allows the edge holding ability at a low temper, making sharpening easier with a stone, steel, or ceramic stick. The blade will rust, so you must be so must be kept lightly oiled, clean to protect it when stored in or out of the scabbard. The scabbard is 11 ounce American cowhide. This leather is tanned by Herman Oak in St. Louis, Missouri to assure there is no salt water used in tanning, which leaves salt in the leather, which would rust the knife. Since this is real deer horn, it is best to keep away from heat or sun rays through glass as heat will crack and dry the horn. These knives and scabbards are made completely by hand without use of any aid of jigs. By myself, my wife, my three other sons, our son-in-law and our daughter and our two daughter-in-laws. We want, <clears throat> we all want you to be happy with your knife. If not, simply return it. Okay, guys, this knife, absolutely amazing. This is one of a kind. Guys, I got this in a trade and this knife, absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. <clears throat> It's real coral, brass, blue steel, the antler. Guys, this is the strongest part of the antler. Boom, right there. And this, if you can see it, are his initials. And uh, I believe the date that it was made. Okay, Ken Richardson has passed away. So it is a family owned and operated business. Um, but as far as this particular knife, it is highly collectible. And uh, guys, I'd like to bring something like this to you guys. If this is something you'd like to participate in, you know, maybe we could do that. Uh, fact of the matter is, is that these knives are not cheap. And if it, if it is something that you guys would like to do, if it's something that you feel like you would like to do, please let me know. Okay, because uh, I, like I said, I got this in a trade and I traded it with AK Grizz. And uh, guys, be sure to check out his website. Uh, shoot. Uh, 
feel terrible, buddy. I can't remember it off. It's, uh, shoot, I apologize, buddy. But I will leave the links for his website, AK Grizz website, uh, in the comment section. Guys, check it out. The guy has hundreds, if not thousands, of knives that are highly collectible. And, uh, you know, he's he's offered to pull one of these up. You know, so uh, they are expensive, like I said. Uh, you know, this particular one is... It fits just perfect absolutely perfect you know it's you can see all this stuff here it's absolutely amazing i cannot thank you enough ak grizz it's truly amazing brother so you go ahead and put this bad boy back in here then you wrap around like that and then it wraps around this here bone just like that it doesn't doesn't come out absolutely amazing these knives are very sharp uh, was it griswold cutlery and collectibles.com i think i'm pretty sure griswold cutlery and collectibles.com uh, like i said i will leave the links for his website in the comment section below but i feel like this is you know something that there's a lot of us hunters and stuff out there. Uh, people who like knives in general. Guys, if, if this is something that you would like to participate in, I can, I can make that happen. It won't be this one because this one's mine. But I can buy one and we can make that happen. Alright. AK Grizz, I hope I did that justice, brother. It's a hell of a knife and I appreciate it, sir. All right, so with that being said, we've got this bad boy. This bad boy is in a comment video up right now. Right now we've got 32 individuals who have commented on said video. We also had somebody send in a donation to help out in shipping, guys, and and this was supposed to be on me. And because that said individual sent in what he sent in, I feel like I should add another something. So I know it's not going to be much, but it's pretty damn cool, I think. We will add in a 1915 <clears throat> Barber Dime, as well as a 1961 proof benji ah watch your eyes guys that thing is bright ah just kidding but it is it's shiny as all f guys thank you all so much for everything uh i really do appreciate it uh congratulations to the winner of the black mass patriots badass bag excuse my language but it is a badass bag so and that too was a cake riz uh and the guy put in, he put in the money to get that bag. And brother, I really do appreciate you, man. You, you came in and you've came, you've come in hot, dude. Um, ever since the uh, Partridge family uh, fundraiser, man, you just, you've been a firestorm. And I appreciate that, man. Absolutely. And that is why I wanted to do this video on this knife, because. If I can get eyes on his website, that's a win in my book. But if we can get the support to run an opportunity for a knife such as this, that would be awesome too. Guys, I cannot thank you enough. I hope the day has been good to you. It's been a long, hot one here. We're making dump runs and everything to try to see about getting out of here as smoothly as possible. Uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be exciting. It's nerve-wracking. It's 
it's it's going to be outside my comfort zone uh going to a place that i know nobody or nothing you know i've i've got a buddy out there daniel wilson who uh actually is the one who got me the job told me that i could stay at his place uh brother i thank you so much and it really does mean a lot that you know you would you would do that for me my man uh you really helped us get out of california as well as all of you who have participated in these opportunities since i started to get the hell out of california fund um it really is awesome so thank you all so much once again if you'd like to do an opportunity for a knife such as this let me know okay guys god bless stay safe have a great morning afternoon evening wherever you are remember black masturbators get yourself some